Well, we started out with a little bit of rain, then we got some sunshine, we got a little rainbow here and there, <laughs> and I'm telling you, people are loving these temperatures. Let's keep them coming. I can't believe it. Uh, Chief Meteorologist Derek Beasley says we almost hit 80 today. Actually, we did hit 80. We're 80 right now. <laughs> And some areas getting a little bit warmer, particularly down towards places like College Park and La Plata, getting up to 81, 82 this afternoon. So, a very warm day. That is, if you weren't experiencing rain and clouds this afternoon, which some of us did experience that, particularly north of Baltimore. We got more rain on the way here for tonight and tomorrow. And unfortunately, it's going to get back to cooler weather here for tomorrow. Not overly cold, but certainly cooler than what we're seeing right now. Radar is showing a clean sweep across the area. The showers that we had in Cecil County have really moved out of the area very quickly. Now getting out of the region now, only the far northeastern parts of uh, Cecil County seeing those showers, but those are moving quickly across the state line. As temperatures range anywhere from the Really, to the north and east of the Beltway, we're talking temperatures in the mid to upper 60s. We get down into Howard County and Anne Arundel County, we're looking at mid to upper 70s, around 80 degrees. You can see right now, BWI at 80 degrees, Elkridge at 75, Ellicott City, Reisterstown at 72, Sykesville at 71, Cockeysville at 72 degrees, but 81 right now in Lexington Park as well as La Plata. And we're looking at even 70s out towards the west in two parts of western Maryland. Cumberland now at 76 degrees. Chances for rain will stay spotty and kind of scattered here through late tonight, but I do expect the coverage to pick up by tomorrow morning. But I want to turn your attention to how warm it's going to be by midnight tonight, only in the mid to upper 60s. So it's going to be a mild night, even though we'll have a few showers around and a few clouds around, but it won't rain all the time. So just take the rain gear with you if you're going to be heading out late tonight, but it's not going to be a soaker, at least not until tomorrow morning, as uh, we're going to be tracking another batch of some steadier rain that's going to be moving to the region here by tomorrow morning. Here's a look at your future cast. Notice this is kind of what we're going to be dealing with here through late tonight. Very spotty in nature, areas north and to the west, really especially north of Interstate 70, really going to see the best chances for rain here through later on tonight. And then here comes this batch that's going to move into the region by tomorrow morning, and we've got wet weather in the forecast here through the first part of the day and even into tomorrow afternoon. Carroll County for tomorrow, much cooler than what we're seeing right now, low to mid-50s for highs from Manchester all the way down towards about Erie, low to mid-50s there with a good chance for showers in the forecast. Then Hartford County, it looks like uh, temperatures in the low to mid-50s here with a good chance for showers having to grace all the way out towards uh, the Falston area and Norrisville. Again, seeing those temperatures in the low 50s with scattered showers in the area. So it looks like a wet end of the week and cooler as well. We're going to go with highs in the mid to upper 50s here for tomorrow, right around 60 on Saturday with a continuing chance for rain. But Sunday looks good. If you're going to have outdoor plans this weekend, Sunday's your day to do it. It looks like we'll start next week on a sunny note as well. Back to you. Okay, we'll take that for sure.